So another game goes by for Manchester United in the Premier League. This time it's Wolves, this time it's another two points drop. Sorry for not having a match reaction after that game. But this is my match reaction, I suppose, and a quick look at what is going on at Manchester United at the moment. Because we had two losses against Brighton and Spurs. We followed that up with three wins on the bounce. Then we go at home against Wolves and we drop another two points in a weekend where Liverpool, they smashed Southampton 3-0, City... They smashed Cardiff 5-0. Chelsea may have dropped points, but you see Liverpool and City running away with things at the moment. I think we're now eight points behind Liverpool after, what, six games in the league so far? Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I'm not sure what can change really at Manchester United, but there's a couple of things that I really think need to change. First and foremost, and the only personnel change I think United need to do, we need to bring Diogo Dalot into this starting eleven now. Antonio Valencia has been a brilliant player for Manchester United over a 10-year period. How he came back from his horror leg break to recover and reinvent himself from a right winger to a right back. Kudos to you, Antonio. Credit to him. Deserves his testimonial next year. But United need to get him out of the starting eleven as soon as possible. Yes, he's the club captain, but you look at United's shape with and without Valencia. It's a completely different shape going forward. He's toothless going forward in attack on the right-hand side. We saw it against Wolves. He saw Sanchez passing it to Valencia, Pobba passing it to Valencia, who would then turn back, pass it back. It would go round and round until the shit cross went in and the attacks went dead. Valencia really doesn't operate as a modern-day fullback in the same way that Diogo Delot does or did against young boys. Yes, it's only young boys, but the kid's 19. He's raw, he's young. Should we be, should we be bringing him in to start week in, week out? Maybe, maybe not, but I certainly would because United need a much better shape in attack. Because if you look at how United played against Wolves, we had like 65% possession, we had 15 shots, only six on target. But there was no real shape to United's attack. There was intent, well, it wasn't really shape. I didn't know what Sanchez or Lingard or Lukaku or Martial were really doing against Wolves. And I'm not sure they did too. Wolves, for me, attacked with better shape than United did. And this is United at home at Old Trafford. With Fergie watching on his first game back after his horrible brain hemorrhage, brilliant to see that. But it's the only real positive for the day from the game other than Pogba's touch for Fred's goal. United really were toothless in attack. I've said that twice now for Valencia and how United looked going forward. And something needs to change there. I don't know what it is. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But for me, United's attacking players almost look like they don't know what to do when they've got the ball in attack. Like no player's got the freedom to really commit themselves to run at a defender and try and get past them. The only players I think that really know what they're doing are Luke Shaw and from what I saw, Diego Delot when he played against young boys. They know what they're doing in terms of overlapping runs, when to time it, when not to time it, when to stay back, when to go forward. But the midfield three seem confused. Matic is the only midfielder who I can really tell you what his role is exactly, and he knows it. Defensive midfielder doesn't need to do much. Pogba and Fred, though, when do they go forward? When do they stay back? And our front three, Sanchez, when does he drop deep? When does he stay forward? Martial, do you cut inside? Do you go out? Sanchez, what are you doing? Lukaku, not... It's confusing. Everywhere it's confusing. And United have scored not enough goals this season so far. And we've got a squad with Lukaku, with Pogba, with Sanchez, with Martial with Lingard, with Rashford. So many players there that should be scoring more. United should be scoring more. We certainly shouldn't be dropping points against Watford at home. Sorry, not Watford. Wolves. Because Watford away, much harder game. We won that 2-1. I don't know what's going on with United this season, but I fear because I don't know what can genuinely change. Other than bringing Diogo Delot in, our strongest team was probably out against Wolves. Three away wins on the bounce. Burying those two defeats to Brighton and Spurs. And then we go and do that against Wolves at home. And it's no reason that United fans are getting frustrated because there's no consistency in what we're seeing. T two defeats followed by three wins, followed by a dismal draw. It's just up and down and up and down. You can't see the path that United is on. And that is still the same situation as it has been for the last couple of years under Mourinho. And it's not a knee-jerk reaction at all. I'm just simply addressing what I'm seeing on the pitch and seeing from the players. There seems to be a lack of identity in terms of the players knowing what they should be doing on the pitch. That comes down to the manager and that absolutely has to change. And if you look at what we've got next, we've got Derby in the League Cup on Tuesday night. 
Winning or losing that doesn't really change anything. Then we've got West Ham away in the league. Valencia at home in the Champions League. And I think we've got Newcastle at home before our toughest game of the league campaign so far. Chelsea away. Now, something needs to change between now and then. Or we're going to go to Stamford Bridge and Sarri's Chelsea. will probably tear us a new one. Mourinho will want to go back there in form with United playing well. And so will the fans. But if we play like we did against Wolves, we're not going to score many goals this season. We should be attacking with more quality and flair going forward than we saw in the last 20 minutes. I say last 20 minutes. The majority of the 90 minutes against Wolves, I thought they attacked better than us. Their goal was great. Our goal was even better. But they had more moments of genuine quality and good football than I think United did. Although we had more possession and more shots, I think Wolves were very good for the point at Old Trafford. And something has to change. I don't know what it is. I don't know what can change. But let me know how you're feeling after the Wolves game. Let me know what you're thinking ahead of the Derby game on Tuesday night. But I don't know what to think about this season. It really is a case of two steps forward, one step back with United. And it has been for a while. I just want to see some consistent changes. And I don't know where or how they come. But something surely has to trigger in the minds of the players so they start playing better football. This is United and we absolutely should be playing better.